Traveling between Riverview and Moncton used to be a scary experience for a lot of people. The old Gunningsville Bridge was very narrow. It was built for the horse and buggy days. So many cars had their side mirrors smashed. Now, look at this. A four-lane crossing of the Petticodiac. A lot of people who'd lost mirrors were very glad to see the construction of the new bridge begin. We're laying out the south abut abutment of the bridge and uh, they're getting ready to do, after this they'll be doing some pouring to actually build the abutment. This is where the new bridge meets Gunningsville Boulevard. This gentle drive up over the hill was once its own little community and it was centered around Ida Street. And this former church, which later was a bed and breakfast, was a landmark. My understanding is the church started in the uh, living room of my great-great-grandmother over here in this house and when the con when they got enough people together, they decided they better have a permanent church and they built uh, this church here. And uh, that was, I think, in 1921 or 23, somewhere in the early 20s. This is part of the uh, original Gunning Farm. Uh, over here is the Gunning House. Uh, Hazen Gunning was born in that house in 1843 and died there 97 years later. And it's uh, from start to finish. Here's the very last car to cross the old Gunningsville Bridge. It's a great pleasure to be here today for the opening of the Gunningsville Bridge. Good morning, everyone. And what a great day it is to celebrate the opening of this beautiful bridge. Though it is a little chilly, Mother Nature has been kind and given us some nice sunny weather, although it's not exactly a heat wave. So it's a great day for Greater Moncton. Oh, Canada. 